Devontae Smith from Louisiana, how they gotten out of there, who knows. Najee Harris is from California, the next great quarterback yeah, from Alabama. Yeah, he should have been a Trojan. Yep, Bryce Young also from California. Should have been a Trojan. <laughs> Mac Jones is from Florida, and Jalen Waddle you were wondering, he's from the Houston area in Texas. All over the country, the country's best team, they roll 52-24. And for Alabama, in a span of 11 days, key, two playoff wins, a Heisman Trophy, and for Devontae Smith, that Heisman Trophy winner, it'll be some kind of future, a three-touchdown catch tonight, and now you just wonder what he might be at the next level. Man, this dude is, is ridiculous, right? I just, it's so it's so funny. I wish I could have watched the game with you guys because because just seeing and understanding the offense and seeing what's coming and how – how they line him up. I've seen it so many times throughout my career because this is Sark's playbook. This is Lane Kiffin's old playbook. This is the stuff that they used at Washington, USC, Tennessee. I mean, I just, I saw, when I saw Devontae come across the formation, stutter step in, in, in man coverage, and lose the defender and shoot to the flat, first thing I said, oh, he getting ready to go to the flat. Bam, touchdown. You know when you see what's getting ready to happen, and he's a terrific young man. You mentioned the next level. The interesting thing about it is with who he is and his style of play, he's got to go to the right system to excel at the elite level like he is at Alabama because the wide receiver position in the pros or even in, even in college to a degree, you depend on so many positive things to happen for you. He's got to go to the right system. You can't get lost with a bum quarterback or a bum offensive coordinator because that amazing talent that we saw on display last night will be lost in the wash. He reminds me of Marvin Harrison, um, to a degree, Hollywood Brown, uh, Antonio Brown. Smaller frames with crazy quicks and speed, but he's got to be in the right system because his size will not allow him to just plug into any system and dominate the pros. You know, college coaches tend to know what to do with individual talent and individual matchups. My guy is better than your guy. Imano, Imano, I'm going to take advantage of your defensive back with my wide receiver. In the pros, that's not the case. In the pros, they're trying to run their system. It's such a chess game where in the pro, in college, I can look across the line of scrimmage and say, my dude way better than yours. You ain't got a chance. And, and, and do exactly what Alabama did last night, where in the pros, everybody is good. So you've got to kind of scheme things a little bit different. But he's going to have an amazing uh, career in the NFL because I think with that type of talent, you can't do anything but force yourself to, to, to get him the football in certain situations. And, Key, right from the beginning of the game, you just thought, oh, can Ohio State keep up with this pace with the way that Mac Jones and his Alabama offense is scoring the ball, right? Like, they tried short zone. They tried man-to-man, -man, two deep, three deep. It didn't matter. Their secondary could not hold Devontae Smith at all. I mean, his first half stats for 12 receptions, 215 yards, and three touchdowns, that's more TDs and total yards than Ohio State had in the entire first half. His stat line alone, Zubin. Now, Will it translate automatically to the pros? I think it will, but we talk about this. There are only a certain few players that it doesn't matter what team they go to at the next level key where that's going to translate. For 95% of top draft picks, it depends upon the situation and who you're surrounded with, and I think that's going to be the same for Devontae Smith. They just got to know, they just got to know that he's a talent and they got to get him the football if they want to keep their job. Last word goes to Chris. We didn't even make mention of Najee Harris, Zubin. Yeah. You know, we didn't even make mention of him. He was amazing. It's not the uh, 2020 vision, but it is the 2020 Devontae going for more than 20 touchdowns receiving and Najee 20 on the ground. Both were electric <laughs> last night. Last word to Chris Fowler, who called the game, and I couldn't agree more. He's calling the biggest sports for us team-wise. He's calling the biggest sports for us individually in tennis. And he said in the year 2020, whether you're a part of a team sport or you're an individual champion, that a championship in 2020, when you look back at it 20 years from now, there will be no asterisks. Because in the word of Fowler, and I agree with him, you get the trophy for winning, but you also should receive another trophy for overcoming all of the adversity you mm -hmm. would have to to get there. So a championship for Nick Saban, his seventh, and this one, obviously in a year unlike any other. And you could tell if you heard Saban last night after the game in his voice how proud he was 
of this team. I say this tongue planted firmly in cheek. He tongue almost seemed happy and satisfied for a small moment. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.